There are plenty of amazing parks and gardens located throughout Sydney, and one that's a real gem has just celebrated its first birthday, Barangaroo Reserve, located on the foreshore of beautiful Sydney Harbour. Visitor's Services Guide Tim Gray knows this place like the back of his hand and is the perfect person to give us an insight into the history and redevelopment of this reserve. Now, Tim, it's obviously an incredible development here. What can you tell us about the history and how it's come to be like it is today? Well, Brangaroo Point Reserve is named so after the Brangaroo, um, who was a Camaragal woman. She was a strong initiated fisherwoman. And she was uh, married to Benelon. And uh, Brangaroo is from the Camaragal clan, which is near Lane Cove and Camaray. And Benelong's from the Wongal clan, which is around Goat Island area. And Tim, how did it come to be what it is today? One of the main visionaries of uh, this parkland, this headland, was uh, Paul Keating. And in 2003, they wanted to give this part of this area back to the people um, by reproducing that uh, headland that was here prior to um, you know, the first settlers arriving. And Tim, some of the sandstone here is absolutely spectacular. What's the relevance of it to the site? We have 10,000 individual blocks of sandstone. That was 93% uh, of it was quarried from here. And it's very significant, especially to the Aboriginal people, because we're on the land of the Gadigal, and the Gadigal are known as saltwater sandstone people. When the settlers came here, they quarried this headland for sandstone, they've turned it into uh, wharfs, shipping wharfs, it's always been an industrial area. Tell us a bit about the plants. Well, we have over 75,000 plants, trees and shrubs, and uh, 84 species they started with. 79 of those species are endemic to the Sydney Basin and the other five are iconic species. And uh, one of my favourite uh, plants that are here is one of those iconic species, which is the Guy Mere lily. If you're in Sydney, do yourself a favour and come and see Barangaroo Reserve for yourself. It really is a special place. And why not book onto one of Tim's tours where he'll explain all of the Aboriginal uses of the plants. In fact, I'm on that tour next week on the show.